I started receiving a couple of emails from the administration department who was kind of heading up the calendar and the turnover of this, and they did a phenomenal job trying to manage you know, 20 different departments, multiple different big Navy programs, and they set up an amazing schedule where I got to spend time between an hour and two or even three hours with each department, kind of going over their amazing accomplishments, who's in the department, and then as I mentioned, you know, we can all improve on something and we can all do something a little bit better. So some of their challenges and some of their concerns as we continue the training cycle and head towards deployment. So when you add up between one and three hours for 20 different departments, plus a couple of Navy-wide programs that we went over, such as the maintenance that we do on board the ship, that takes a decent chunk of time and a couple of weeks of, a couple of, weeks of turnover. You know, we're going to build upon a lot of what Captain Slaughter and the team did here, getting through the shipyards, as he mentioned, on time with an incredible amount of maintenance completed, an absolutely stellar basic phase with multiple inspections where you guys, the entire team on board here scored, you know, in incredible grades on evolution. So what that tells me is they've been training right, they've been doing their job right, there's always some challenges and there's always some things we could look at and do better, but the team is very reflective upon that. We do have a few more exercises to get through and then head out on a successful deployment, but I have no doubt in my mind that the team that has been built here will be able to do that and absolutely accomplish everything that we need to for our Navy and nation on deployment. And you know, I think the interesting thing is Captain Slaughter hit on it earlier and we talked about the different perspectives that are brought to an organization with a diverse background. And that could be anything. It could be race, religion, what part of the country you grew up in. You know, there's so many different ways you can kind of slice into the diversity concept. And so I was sitting in meetings during turnover and I was stuck with an idea and maybe where exactly we wanted to go with certain things. And it was because we had a diverse group of people in the room that they came up with solutions that I had not even thought of yet. You know, you listen and you watch the MWR, the morale, welfare and recreation events that we do on the ship. And I was complimenting, you know, who we call our fun boss just yesterday on coming up with an idea that I had never heard of before. And it was really the second class petty officers on this ship that came up with it and wanted to implement it and were, were given the opportunity by leadership to do so. And so I think what it really makes us all better and stronger as an organization. And so, you know, no one person has all the best ideas and we all need each other mm -hmm. and the different sure. perspectives that we grew up with and that we bring to the table in order to make ourselves that bigger, stronger, better team.